Uh, they've determined here on the, this slope that they're going to need uh, need a row of uh, protection every nine feet. So they've spray painted a line in the slope for every spot and laid out a bundle each there. I'm going to run them across the slope here this way. Here on the other side of the abutment, you can see where they've already opened apart the bundles and spread out the pro waddle. Um, you got some guys up here already digging their trench, preparing uh, and actually doing some installation. One guy goes in front with a shovel and prepares a shelf. You got another guy coming behind attaching the joints together and anchoring them. Third guy's coming behind driving in the stakes to support them, putting in the stakes every five feet. Anchoring with two nails for every seven foot section of pro waddle. You don't really have to trench pro waddle in. What you need to do is just prepare a flat shelf for the uh, L shaped flap to sit on. Sit, flaps, four inch flap. It's got a five inch trenching shovel. The slope was track walked. And it's pretty chunky soil, so he's having to. Uh, and to bring some stuff a little bit down to make it to make a nice flat surface to install the pro waddle not having to really dig into the slope just okay the guys are up installing the second line they completed the first line across the vertical top there looks like they'll be doing seven lines going down this slope and 70 foot uh, from base to, to peak once the pro waddle is installed they'll be spraying a soil stabilizer on the slope so you guys, uh, you guys also install a lot of straw, straw waddle on slopes like this. So far, what do you think? Is this about the same, harder, easier? How would you compare it? This one's a little bit easier. This one's easier? So according to the guys working the slope up there, they said the installation of pro waddle is a lot easier than straw waddle. They don't have to go as deep with the trench. They don't have to use quite as many stakes not as heavy to deploy on the slope. It was easier for them to spread out the pro waddle, they said. Very lightweight product. 140 feet per bundle. Easy to carry up the slope and then spread out. It took about five minutes to train these guys and get them started and they're off and running. Here you can see how the joint uh, system is prepared. You've got the male end notched out so that it'll slide easily into the female side here. So he opens it out wide. Easily slides the other side in all the way till it stops. So the last step in the installation is backfilling the flap. Here see some uh, pro waddle. It's anchored and staked, but the flap is still not covered. And as you move down here, you can see we've already started backfilling from the end of the line in. Just taking that loose soil from uphill and pushing it down on top of the flap to bury the flap, make sure it's completely covered. About an inch is uh, all you need, inch maximum anchor to stake and running the string straight across the slope so they're making sure they're staying on that uh, staying on that line going straight across the slope here. All right here we have the delivery truck that brought the pro waddle materials out to the uh, slope installation here. Uh, it was about 10,000 feet that were needed for this particular job. That uh, was uh, just three standard Urtec pallets that uh, packed that out there. They brought this on it looks like about a 16 foot flatbed truck. Um, all the materials, including the anchors and stakes, uh, were also brought on the same truck. Okay, here we have some pro waddle that's been, uh, the installation has been completed. You can see the track walking lines on the slope running horizontally to help uh, redirect the water. Down here on the other side of the slope, you can see where they've already sprayed uh, the first layer of some so sort of soil stabilizer. We'll be spraying down some straw and tack of fire as well. Here you can see up a little bit more closely the, uh, the green particles or what's been sprayed on the slope here to stabilize it. You can see there's been a dusting on the pro waddle of that and a little bit of it on the stake too. That's fine. It's not inhibiting the filter. Again, panning along the line, you can see it's all been properly backfilled here. We've got it nice. Uh, these laser leveling to align the rows. And here you can see a slope that's been completed now. They've got the uh, soil stabilizer sprayed underneath, straw and tack on top. In some quake cases, the straw may be coming up all the way up to the top of the pro waddle. That should be no problem. Closer up view of the finished slope, straw and tack if I already ap applied.
pieces appear to be fully intact. In most cases, the uh, looks like they use round top pins to uh, anchor here. Pins are in good condition. Pins may even be able to be reused. Certainly all the Pro Auto looks like it's in reusable condition. they've constructed. And you can see they're installing Pro Waddle out here today. These are the Pro Waddle pieces that have already been removed and uh, from one of the other abutments that was installed last fall. The gentleman here is performing the final step. He's backfilling, uh, covering the flap. As you can see the pieces here have already been anchored, staked behind. 